amigos, how you guys doing? Glad you're back. Or maybe you're just might be glad that I'm back. Because <laughs> anyway, um, what am I doing today? Well, I'm doing something that is totally off the wall for anybody to do these days who owns a motorcycle that has electric start. And why did I say that? Check this out. The shovel head is on the rack, as you can see. And this time, not because it has to. Check it out. I got to shopping online and it happened to be by word of mouth about a company named chopperware.com. Actually, it's not just .com, it's .com slash AU. In, a, in other words, they are an Australian company and they sell chopper stuff and I bought some chopper stuff for them. Namely, this little piece right here, which happens to be an arm bracket that goes on the transmission for a cow pie transmission if you want to operate a foot clutch. And also one of these jockey shifts that goes for a cow pie transmission application. I did say something about the electric start. The reason I said something about the electric start is because this won't work with that primary cover and inner primary and solenoid in the way. And to kill two birds with one stone, this motorcycle is a belt drive on the primary down in there and it, even though it is vented i i would really like for it to be vented a little bit better so why not i thought you know make it an open primary drive and even if these parts don't work here you know this because i'm not really sure if, if it's going to work on any other application and other than a rigid frame application i kind of hope this will work though this arm right here but i know this will work out i just have to kind of find out a way to make my linkages work for this but anyway i saw that to say that um well it's like this this motorcycle is titled as a 1979 fxs80 lowrider okay but as you can see this thing looks nothing like that okay and yes i did check the numbers when i brought the bike home so believe it or not it is a matching numbers motorcycle with the frame and the engine and they register as a 1979 fxs80 so since this motorcycle has already been bastardized throughout the years and just kind of been thrown together i think i'm just going to bastardize it some more so i'm going to attempt to make the application on open primary belt drive i even got a different belt in case i need a shorter one for the application um, and i got some other parts to make it work and i don't think i have the other piece in here oh i know where it's at it's right here yeah I've got this transmission stabilizer thing or main shaft stabilizer thing for that kind of application. So without any further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and start taking stuff off of this and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, fast forward a bit. Actually, a lot because, you know, I really didn't film what I did because, <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'll show you what I did. Check it out. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I know. The belt's loose. Too loose. And the other belt was too short. So I just stuck the stock one on there just to get a visual of what it would look like. And it looks like that. So that's kind of cool. And I got my jockey shift in there. It seems to work. That's first. That's neutral in theory. You know, whatever. So, okay, I'm believing that that is neutral. I've got this hooked up. I had to find linkages that I had lying around in my pile of stuff. And I was able to make this work. And I've got a clutch. Clutch works pretty good. See the pressure plate coming in and out? oh yeah it's working okay so but as i did not really think about this that um well i already had plans to rewire this motorcycle just to make the wiring mine and well i found out and i didn't even think about it until i did it that when i took the starter out and the solenoid off well i got to thinking as i pulled this off well this black wire went to the battery and this red wire went to the starter motor and another wire, you know, from the wiring harness went here. If I'm not using this, I'm going to have to find another way to hook my battery up to the bike. I know, man, this is just totally not what most people would do. Especially since it's factory stuff. But I really can't wait to get rid of this stuff right here. These goofy looking blinkers right here. And these tacky looking red lights right here. See that? Mostly because they're ugly and they don't even work. They worked when I got this motorcycle but now they don't work at all which is fine because i thought they were gaudy anyway i'm glad they don't work so it gives me a perfect excuse to get rid of them so i'm going to be removing the tanks but first got to get all the fuel out of it and uh you know dissect everything from there so let me put this camera down and i'll see you guys in a bit okay i recorded this ahead of time but look at this i got my dash on here just to see what it looks like I turn on my key 
and the little lights come on and neutral's on. Turn this switch here, another turn. Of course, when I turn it this way, the ignition is already on with no lights. I turn it this way, got my tail light on. I don't know if I can pick this up or not, but uh, see, I push the rear brake and we have brake lights, I think. Yeah, there we go, brake lights. And I broke the lens getting this out just to check out the, you know, the wiring in here to know what I'm doing. So this is just kind of hanging here. I've got another lens coming. I've got my toggle switch hooked up here. I go this way. Got bright lights. Go back. I got, no wait, that's bright lights. That's low beam and that's high beam. That's pretty cool. All right. Now I think I've got it all back together. Watch. Yeah, I do have it all back together. And this is what I've done so far. It looks like it did before I took parts off of it, except for obviously this. I think my handlebars look a lot better all cleaned up like this. The only thing I kept really was a brake light and I ended up running a banjo bolt pressure switch, which is running through here and I took a spark plug boot just to hide the wiring or really not just hide it, but to protect the wiring. But it does kind of look like an afterthought. It's not really something you'd notice unless I said, hey, look at that. At least to me that is. I mean, there it is, you know. Eventually, I'm going to put a bib right here to hide all of this. But until now, it's still a rideable bike until I do that. I really don't know what else I'm going to show you other than how this thing rides. I'm really not looking forward. Well, I am looking forward to it, but this is really going to be weird that my hand, you know, my left hand is not going to be looking for a clutch lever. Actually, that's not true. It will be looking for a clutch lever. I can just see it because just from muscle memory and my foot operating a clutch, which is used to operating a shifter. So this should be... Um, interesting okay here comes the part where those of you who have been kickstarting bikes since your early days you know since before i was around you know when you get an audience that's going to watch you start your motorcycle it's not going to start so i hope this isn't going to be one of those but let's see if it works you know yada 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 there's a sequence that these things seem to like and sometimes they don't like them i don't know let's see what happens i read this on a forum somewhere Two time kick. All right, turn on the ignition. Turn the choke on. Okay. Hold the throttle open, and it might start on the first, second, or third, or twentieth, fifth kick, or something like that. Oh. Yep. Time to do the sequence all over again. Round kick. Almost. Do it one more time. Okay, already I'm looking for my clutch handle, so I need to remember that this is a shifter and my foot is the clutch. Now, I would think I'd be used to that concept because my truck is a five speed, so I don't know. Muscle memory is kicking in and it's like I'm looking for uh, the clutch handle. So maybe if I change the bars, it might be easier to learn it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. Oh man, listen to those clutches go. First. Oh, spin the wheel taking off. <laughs> Alrighty, this is weird. Okay. Oh, shoot. There's somebody right there. Lean to the right when you stop. <laughs> Thanks, Bill, from Witchcraft Cycles, for telling me to do that. Oh, boy. I have got a lot to learn if I want to do this. Maybe I can make it all the way to scooters. Oh man, this is really cool. I mean, I think it's cool, I don't know. I probably won't think it's cool until I eventually stall out trying to take off because I'm not used to using my entire leg to let go of the clutch. So far, just cruising down the road like this, I'm okay. It's coming to the stops, maybe manipulating traffic. Uh, eventually it's gonna be a, a strange thing, but I guess it's like anything else, just like with the right hand shift, 
which I thought riding a right hand shift motorcycle was a doozy enough. Oh boy, what in the world have I gotten myself into? <laughs> and I will admit that this is much to the dismay of my missus. She says I'm definitely looking for trouble by doing this. And I kind of feel what she's talking about. But maybe if I had a little bit of practice, it might work out pretty good. I'll tell you what though, the shifter feels a lot better now that I don't have all these linkages. That's been the complaint about cow pie transmissions. One of the main complaints when I ask around is that they have all these external linkages which makes it hard for this thing to shift. But now since I have direct power going straight to the shifter, there's not all that slack where it wants to grind into gear. Having my hand on the shifter itself, it feels like a much tighter transmission. Man, I just didn't record the last stop sign, but uh, I really got a lot to get used to. This thing already feels like quite the death trap, which, you know, keep choppers sketchy, right? Even though this isn't a chopper, but I kind of feel like I'm somewhere in between chopper and not chopper, but I certainly have bastardized the crap out of this motorcycle. I mean, as far as making it mine, I could have done it one of two ways, which was, well, it would cost a heck of a lot more to return it to its original glory than it would to just, you know, make it mine. So why not bastardize it some more, make it something that's a little more unorthodox, make it something that's, a, you know, quite a pain in the butt to start or to shift or to, well, I guess I'll get used to the shifting part. Maybe I'm just trying to cut off my nose to spite my face. I don't know what my problem is. I've always gone against the flow my whole life and not on purpose, but it's just, I don't know, it's just my taste in things, even if it's against my own best interest. So, oh well, blah, 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 blah. I'll see you guys at Scooters. Oh, that's that one that was up there, huh? That's the one that's been there for a month, yeah. Okay, so that is what, a 96 inch shovel on that, 95 inch? Yeah, like that? 90, 95 big four stroker high compression motor. Just went through the bottom of it, did all the electronics, got it compared to like the start. Now the clutch slips. I bet it's a booger to try and kick start with that much compression, huh? Wouldn't know. You wouldn't know? <laughs> it's you ain't got electric start, I'm not kicking that thing. I don't even gotta try it, I don't blame you. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> I'm excited. We don't have to depend on God enough to help us. We add danger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a test of faith, is that right? Yeah, it, it, pretty much. I got this from a fellow over in Australia. I had to bend it just right to make it fit, but one of the main complaints I've heard about cow pie transmissions are all those linkages that, you know, but once I did that, it makes that transmission feel a lot tighter. You know, because I got direct power going from the hand straight to the shuffle. Instead of one linkage to another linkage to another linkage. Well, that was a nice little visit, and I didn't get it on film. The thing started with an audience. I figured I might want to go ahead and try and start this thing before it's time to leave. That way I know that I'm actually getting out of there when I say bye. <laughs> but it started right up, but the embarrassing thing was trying to take off in front of them because this thing just leaped forward like a bunny hop you know what I mean so anyway I guess it'll take a while to get used to it but then again I'm gonna end up with that prism supply brand of a slingshot clutch pedal so it might make quick clutch a lot easier I'll go ahead and get gas in this thing hopefully it'll start again <laughs> anyway but until then you guys keep the rubber side down and you be good to yourselves thanks a lot